It's Demolition Derby for life. I'm gonna do a update or possibly a new car video. I don't know if you guys have seen this thing yet. I might have done it, a video on it a little while ago. Haven't really talked about it. Um, currently, I moved it into a shed, my little white shed. Get it out of the weather. And what I got to build, or at least start to strip, is a 2001 or it's a 99 can't remember exactly what the year was and I can't really get at it just because I parked it in here and I parked it too close to the, another car is a Lumina this thing is a rot box or it's not it's not horrible it's really not horrible I got this thing for free so I'm not gonna complain um, I picked this thing up near uh, near Waconia. I was sitting out in the yard. I asked the guy if he wanted to sell it. And he's like, yeah. And I offered him some money. And then I was like, and he's like, well, for that price, you can just have it. So I got the car for free. Um, hopefully it's not too dark, which shouldn't be horrible. Let's see if I can. There, kind of help. Um, this thing is, um, wasn't an accident or kind of an accident. It went in the ditch, and the uh, the tow truck company uh, tried pulling it out, and they hooked it on to a wrong spot on the vehicle, and they basically ripped out the whole rear axle. Or the rear, rear sway bar or whatever you want to call it. So that's why this vehicle actually was taken off the road. Uh, Freaking squirrels. You can see they like to eat their nuts and leave it all up on the floor for me to clean up. Little buggers. Um, car's not, I mean it's got typical Minnesota rust. Uh, typical spots where I've seen Luminos rust out. Um, but this one actually isn't horrible. I mean, I've seen them way worse. Um, I have not really stripped it. I kind of ripped off the front bumper or the front bumper cover by accident. Oh well. It's got to come off anyway, so yeah. I can't really get by there. You got about six inches to get up in between there. Um,. When I was trying to push this car in here, I noticed that the rear rear end was not moving, or the tires weren't moving, so that's seized. I'm going to have to pull it out, and I think maybe, possibly, the, uh, um, the e-brake, or the, yeah, the emergency brake got pushed down, and it seized up. So I think I just have to cut that and then try to get it to break loose. And once I do that, it should be fine. Um, it's one of the foot e-brakes. It's not a hand lever one, which kind of sucks. I like those hand lever ones. Um, I believe this vehicle should run. Uh, the fuel pump is out in it. It does not run or does not work. So what I, I mean, I don't. I'm not going to be using the stock tank anyway. So I got. I got a tank that I got made up that will work for this. Um, not gonna. Uh, not gonna worry about it. Um, I did get it running, or I had it like pop running a little bit just off a of starting fluid, so I know it will pop over and go. But it's just a matter of getting everything taken care of. I'm probably going to get everything stripped out. I'm not going to cut any wiring. Absolutely no wire cutting whatsoever until I get the fuel tank in and wired up and ran to the front and get it going. Get it not necessarily driving, but just staying running so then I can start kind of cleaning up certain wires that don't need to be there or whatever. But there you go, guys. There is the uh, Lumina.
currently just going to be sitting for a while until I get further on the 72 Lincoln and the uh, other vehicle, uh, the 79 Impala. Uh, currently those two are going to be the first priorities for this year. Once those are taken care of, or at least mainly all stripped, which I'm pretty much done with the 79. The 72 uh, has a little ways to go, but I will get that all taken care of eventually. But there you go, guys. This one will be the next one on the chopping block, actually. Um, I th Unless I decide to fix the 78 Lincoln... Not Lincoln, Ford Crown Vic. Unless I decide to fix that one. And then I have another one inside the... I think it was a 80-something... 82 or 83 Impala. or I believe it was an Impala. I have that one to fix up too a little bit. I cleaned up the wiring a little bit, which will be in another update. So, yeah. But there you go, guys. There is the uh, Lumina. I got too many cars to keep track of. I basically have Fords and Fords and Chevys on my property, and a Volkswagen. But yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching all my videos. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll catch you guys later.